I started a social group for teenagers a few years ago and both optimistically and naively avoided making any kind of rules, regulations, or document explaining behavior that needed to happen and not happen at my club. Then within a very short period of time, unfortunately, I witnessed a clear incident of racial prejudice, uh, was made privy to inappropriate images that were being passed around, and was also confided in by a student of um, inappropriate behavior that happened in her social life, and we needed to navigate what to do with all of this. I needed a guide as a plumb line for getting through these situations, so I made my student behavior guidelines. Hi, I'm Bethany, and I would love to walk you through the guidelines that I made, so hopefully you can make one for your club or organization. Start by making a document that answers the who, what, where, when, why, and how of your group. List out all the best and worst things that happen, issues that are causing you stress, and just make a brain dump of everything that comes to mind when you think about managing your group. Give a title to your document, and under the title, list what the document applies to. My club is called Mad Society, so it says, for all related mad events. Indicate where this document will always be posted, where participants should keep it, or how they can find it. This is a public statement about the desire for this document to be accessible and able to be used. Your first paragraph should include these things. What you hope participants learn to do in your group. How you want them to grow or develop. What kind of aspirations or standards your group aims towards. State that the leaders hope this document helps to aid in achieving all these goals. The next paragraph should be titled Expectations for, and you'll insert your club name, members and their guardians. List all the most important positive behaviors and outcomes for participants, emotionally, relationally, how they should contribute, what atmosphere they should aim to bring, how they will treat others, etc. Then you will make a list that says unacceptable behaviors include, but are not limited to. I'll give you my list, but you'll have to come up with your own. Your next paragraph will be a brief description of what happens should unacceptable behavior occur at your club. You'll have to come up with your own process, but I'll show you mine as inspiration. The next paragraph will be about how you will handle issues that come up between participants in your group. There are a lot of ways that you could handle this. I'll show you what I have. Again, make sure you customize this for your group, especially take into account their ages. When something does happen, you want to have a very well-defined way that someone could earn their way back or earn good standing within your group. So add a section about here are the steps that will allow a student to come back to your group after a rule has been broken. As inspiration, here is mine. The next paragraph will be a kind of commitment as to what the leaders of your group, yourself included, are actually committing to with regards to supervision and what that means. Answer the who, what, where, when, why, and how of the supervision provided and what's not provided by your group. Then include either a faith statement, a mission statement, extra criteria, or important resources for your group that need to be stated. After all of this, make some sort of simple statement that you know you're not perfect, you know your leadership will not be perfect, even though you're gonna aim for doing the best that you can, that you're still a human. Make sure it's actually true that you are committing to do your best, because I have been parts of clubs that we stayed in far too long, because if I'd actually thought about whether the leader is aiming to do their best for the members of their group, we probably should have left. Lastly, have an other paragraph. Go back to that brainstorming document you made when we started this video about your group. Think about your group and what is in there that you have not addressed in your new guidelines document you're creating. In my other paragraph, I include a statement letting people know that we have a great time at our events and I do get to become friends with the students and with that comes some choices that I have to make and sometimes some awkward decisions to keep that line between leader and friend and mentor. So I've included that in my student behavior guidelines also saying after that that I welcome communication from guardians and I want to have a healthy honorable atmosphere at my group make sure to state that this new behavior guidelines will apply at all locations where your group may venture or go together 
add a closing statement and the title that you and your co-leaders are going to have. Make sure you have your contact information and a statement saying that by signing this document, the students are agreeing that their guardians will always know when they are attending your group and that the student is accepting accountability for the behavior at your group. Also say that both the student and the guardians are agreeing to support the mission and expectations in this form. Each student in each family participating must sign, including a guardian, and this document will need to be returned and filed. Consider adding uh, the list of the places that your group is going to meet and saying that those places are not responsible for anything lost, damage, injuries, etc. I worked really, really hard to come up with this document. I did research online. I had other people read it, proofread it, add input. Uh, I gathered a lot of stuff to make this. You're going to need and want and be thankful that you invested the time to get this right for your club and make sure that you revisit it at least once a year to make little tweaks or even major adjustments that you realize something needs to be in there that you missed. I have quite a few videos on leading clubs, so check one of those out.